What's up guys? Uh, I'm going to be talking a little bit about surface mount and through hole component technology. Um, the circuit on the left is through hole components and the circuit on the right is um, surface mount components. Both these circuits are exactly identical except for the one on the right has a switch um, and that's pretty much the only, the only difference. Um, but as you can see uh, the surface mount devices are considerably smaller, take up way less space, but at the same time way harder to solder. Um, first I'll just give you a quick uh, close-up view of the through-hole component. See it's got two LEDs, four resistors, a 555 timer, and a capacitor. On the bottom, this was milled out using uh, 20 mil and 10 mil uh, bits on a milling machine. So. It's not like a, your traditional like printed circuit board, I guess you could say. Um, but the isolation tracks have been milled out, so you can you can see the traces. I'll give you see if I can give you a better view here. I'm going to be doing a soldering video soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, and I'll give you a close up of this surface mount. On this printed board um, actually instead of milling out the isolation tracks we've actually milled out all the copper away except for what we wanted. Um, the big thing is a switch obviously. Uh, a circular device is the capacitor, 555 timer chip. Anything that you see these, uh, these small components with the numbers on them, those are the resistors and the number actually tells you what the ohms of the resistor is. Um, the, the two bottom ones are 331 ohms and those are the resistors for the LEDs which are which you can see here if I can zoom in a little bit closer. Oh yeah. And then these these two resistors up here, the 102, that doesn't actually mean uh, 102 ohms. What it means is it means it means 10 plus two other zeros. So that's a that's a 1K and the other one is a 10K and that just sets up my flash rate. So um, I'll plug it up. It actually has a, a, a chassis type thing so it can uh, go on to a 9 volt battery. So I'll plug it up and, and show it to you working. All right, let's see if I can flip the switch here. There we go. I'm not exactly sure how fast the flash rate is, but it's pretty quick. The other one's a little slower, but um, I, I'll, give, I'll show you that one too. <clears throat> I've already snapped the battery in, but you can know, you can see that this um, this flash rate is considerably slower. That's because my resistors that set up my flash rate are are different than on the on the surface mount board. Um, another thing is both of these boards were soldered by hand, even the surface mount, um, which the surface mount was a complete pain in the ass. Um, I probably won't do a video on that since I just don't have the materials to or the equipment. Um, let me see if I can get a better view at one of these. Let's see. But you can see how how considerably small I mean, you can see the solder on the edges there. Um, and what I had to do is you know you you put a little bit of solder on the pad, and then use some tweezers to put the component down and heat the solder so it sticks to the to the board, and then you can finish up soldering it. So it's a little bit more of a process than you would do with a with a through hole component circuit. Um, but yeah, that's that's it.